Let's take a live look outside now. The temperature is still 98 degrees right here at the WFAA studios tonight. That is 98 degrees at three minutes after 10 o'clock. This heat is just so intense. ERCOT extended that weather watch until Friday. It was supposed to expire today, but the agency says high demand on the power grid is going to last all week, and they do expect to have enough energy supply. Pete, do you see any relief anytime soon? Meteorologically speaking, nope. Not a, I mean, not a chance. They extended it through the week. I don't know what they were waiting on. I mean, all for last week, we talked about temperatures this week being, you know, above 100. And it's not just here in North Texas. Remember, ERCOT is, is not all of Texas, but it's the vast majority of Texas under their control. So, and it's hot. I mean, extremely hot statewide. Houston is just like a string of triple digits, one after the other down there. And we still have this excessive heat warning in effect for a, a big chunk of the Metroplex. The east side of uh, the Metroplex right now has a heat advisory. Heat uh, temperatures and heat index values 107 to 112. Another very hot day tomorrow. Not a record hot day, but a hot day nonetheless. A couple of sprinkles out here. Look at this. Western sections of North Texas, Seymour, Haskell, and the Rolling Plains. A couple sprinkles. There is the radar at midnight. So overnight tonight, a couple little spotty showers. I mean, 10 to 20% of us pick up rain overnight tonight. And uh, low temps. Here we go, right into Heat Island again. 84 Dallas, 83 in Fort Worth, 82 in Denton. You get outside of the Heat Island at 71 up in Bonham, 74 in Sherman, 75 in Gainesville, 76 in Terrell, 76 in Waxahachie. But in the core of the heat, it's all in the 80s. So we'll wake up tomorrow morning with another very, very muggy warm start at 83. By noon tomorrow, we're at 92. 104 tomorrow at 3 o'clock with a heat index of 110.